By the mention of Katie Hammond, I just got a memory refresh. And um, a glorious new day to Ghana. Exactly four years ago, a cabal of these honest people decided to meet in a room to deceive the over 30 million Ghanaians we have in this country. So they came out and told us that they are going to absorb the utility that we are enjoying at the time. So government was going to pay only for us to vote for them. And then the next minute, we were told that whatever was given to us was on a loan. So the good people of Ghana would remember that after they won the election and we had to pay, the prices of electricity bill were off the roof, over the roof. And then later, we were told that we have to pay COVID levy because of the utility we enjoyed during that time. So the name Katie Amon just refreshed well, that Lisa, The explanation at that time was that we were having difficulties, so the government was subventing our living. The difficulties now is worse than there. So back to the issue, Roland. I would want to take the opportunity to commend Speaker Babrin for the incredible show of patriotism. When you read the memo that was sent by the leader of government business, he says that he would want the, uh, the parliament to be recalled based on urgent issues. Then I ask myself one thing. If it is urgent issues, and if you look at the issues in there, one major thing that I would have been very interested in was the budget. You give them 28th, 29th, two days to discuss 22 issues. And that is not in the interest of the nation. We vote for people to go to parliament to represent us. They are not just there to be doing yeah, yeah. No, no. They are there to read, scrutinize, criticize, make suggestions mm. to make sure that whatever bill that goes into that chamber is thorough and it is serving the interest of the nation. So if you give people two days, what were they they're supposed to do? And then he tell us that this is urgent government business. That is where I find very intriguing. For over seven, year, uh, seven years, 10 months, we are in the 12th month as it stands now because we are almost entering December. Mm. Seven years, 11 months, you couldn't do urgent government business. And key three things there that caught my attention was the revocation, the environmental bill. Yeah, and Okay, so now government is seeking to revoke government. When we were living in our nation, we were not having people mining in the forest reserves. All of a sudden, you introduce an ally that they should go and mine in our forest reserves. Then now, all of a sudden, you want to revoke that. Seven years. The first year you introduced it and you realized that our water was getting spilled. We kept complaining. Civic organizations, opposition, the ordinary Ghanaian, the patriotic Ghanaian was complaining that based on that, our waters were getting spilled. You didn't mind us. Four or five days to election is when you want to pass that bill. And the other part I find amusing is the part where you want to give tax exemptions. I have always maintained that the various companies we have under one district, one factory, about 90% of them are not companies that were set from the scratch or were not companies that were supported based on merit. They just looked for companies that had their incorporation with their party members, their cronies, and then they decided to give some small amounts to them and then label oh, their companies. Can you come I, am, I am being frank with you, Papa Ru. Are you sure? Walk the breadth and length of this nation and look at the companies that they, they gave the monies to for expansion well, under the one that says one fact. Good. Them, like how yeah, many, how companies. many, that's why I said about 90%. So there's a 10% exemption. And then now you want to give them a bye-bye bailiff since you are leaving office. Then it comes up to the conclusion that ever since government started doing business, what have we gained as a people? And when you talk about the issues of precedence and all of that, technically, per every parliament, by the 15th of November, parliament is on recess. They go back to their various constituencies and what they ought to do is to show the people that they are giving an account. My party, NDC, we uplift probity and accountability. So when people vote for you to go to parliament to do business, you are not doing business on your behalf as a certain individual, but it's on the behalf of all the people in your constituency who gave you that mandate. So around this time, you go back to your people, give an account of the years you have spent in parliament and what you were able to lobby and negotiate and the state of the nation, you give that account to your people. The government business that they've done so far, 
I would want to take our minds to a quote by Martin Emela. He says, first they came for the socialists. I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists. I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak for me. The government businesses that they've been doing so far, DDEP, when they started this domestic debt exchange program, they were giving her cuts to the agent. You were not part and you thought it wouldn't, it wouldn't affect you. Now you walk to our homes and our mothers and fathers who are on pension have become a burden on the household income. They said that they were going to give us a lean way by providing numerous jobs for us. What did they come to do? President Kufado and Dr. Baumia ended up employing their family members under nepotism. And what they told us, the guys, was that their family members were qualified. Because you believed in that they were qualified story. Here we are today. Unemployment rates of 14.7%. We cannot find jobs to do. We did not speak out then. Then they came to how they were abusing incumbency with the appointment of certain people to critical independent institutes in this nation. Then we said that they have that power. The president is exercising his discretion. They gave us people who were wearing political clothes. And today, as we speak now, Papa Rio, everything in this country is in shambles. So since they started doing urgent government business, what they have given us is a 14.7 unemployment rate. What they have given us is people who are above 60% in various homes and they cannot even buy drugs for hypertension and diabetes they are suffering from. What they have given us is when you walk the breadth and left of this nation, the waters that they have polluted and the food stuff that we are consuming. What they have given us is a free senior high school fantastic policy that they implemented symbolically and people had to consume with social rice. That was repackaged, was unwholesome for our children. Who is that for? So as I wrap up Papa Rule, Whatever the speaker has done thus far is in the interest of the nation because we need ample time to discuss, scrutinize, give um, some form of ideas to whatever bill that they intend to bring. It is not a matter of going to parliament and saying, yeah, yeah, no, no. 7 December is not too far. May the good Lord see us through 7 December. Parliament will come back and whatever business they seek to do, it will be done.